Yes, I was. And what were your duties that day? Uh, that day I was a uh, day shift commander, which entails uh, taking care of Santa Fe County during the day and the uh, seven deputies we had. How large is Santa Fe County? Uh, it's pretty big. It goes from the city limits of Española to uh, all the way to I-40 down in Edgewood and to Pecos and then to the off-ramp to Cochiti. You said you were commander that day. What, what does that mean? What duties did that entail? Um, I'm pretty much in charge of the county um, on what happens and uh, um, responsible for the deputies that are, that are working. On that day at approximately 1.48, did you receive a dispatch to a call? Uh, yes, I did. And what was that call for service about? Uh, the call of service was uh, on a movie set for an accidental shooting. Okay. And where was that located? It was located at, at the Bonanza Creek Movie Ranch. Okay. And is that in Santa Fe County? It is in Santa Fe County. Okay. In, the, in New Mexico? In the state of New Mexico, yes. Okay. And um, do you recall approximately what time you arrived? Uh, I was dispatched about, I guess, about 1.50. I didn't arrive till almost 2, about, I think it was like 2.20. Okay. Why did it take you a while to arrive? Um, I was pretty much uh, on the other side of the county um, when the dispatch call came in. Now, when you arrived, do you recall <laughs> what you observed? Um, when I, when I arrived, there was, um, there was a security guard at the gate and he told us that he was going to, um, drive us into the movie set where, where the, the incident happened. Were other deputies already there when you arrived? Um, Deputy LaFleur was already on scene from what I heard over the radio. And I had, uh, at the time, Corporal Darete was in front of me literally in front of me um, when when we got there. Were there other first responders present when you arrived on scene? Yes, there was. There was already medics on scene when I arrived. Okay. Were you wearing your police uniform? I was in full uniform, displaying my badge of office at the time. And were you equipped with a lapel camera? Yes, I was. Okay. Uh, are you familiar or were you familiar with how your lapel camera works? Yes. And how does it work? As soon as I activated my lights and sirens, um, my lapel goes off right away. And it starts recording from as soon as I uh, activated my lights and sirens. And how long does your lapel camera record? Um, it records until I stop it or until it runs out of battery. And how does your video that's captured on your lapel camera upload it? How is it preserved? Do you know? Yes. Um, at the time, it's uploaded. We, as deputies, we don't have no control how it's. We show up to the sheriff's office and it download, downloads automatically from our. Uh, I take off my, my lapel, I put it in a docking station in my unit, and everything downloads into the sheriff's office room servers. Okay. On October 21st, 2021, did your lapel camera capture what um, you observed when you arrived on scene at the Bonanza Creek Ranch? Yes, it did. And what did you do with your lapel camera after you left the scene? Um, when I completed my duties on that scene, I put it in my docking station, which is also a uh, charger, and I proceeded to the sheriff's office so it could download. Now, have you viewed your lapel camera video since October 21st, 2021? Yes, I have. Okay. And in fact, did you view a portion of it this morning before you testified? Yes, I did. Okay. And um, did I show you State's Exhibit Number 5 um, earlier this morning? Yes, you did. And what was that? It was uh, pretty much the beginning from when I activated my lights and sirens to the end. Okay. What Was it the entire thing to the end or was it part of it? It was part of it. It was not the entire thing um, because um, I did stop it several times to talk to commanders and deputies and then I reactivated it. And how long is your entire lapel camera video? Um, I arrived on scene about uh, about 2.20 2 and I didn't leave till almost 8.30 that night.
So State's Exhibit 1 is just a portion of your lapel camera? That is correct. Excuse me, video? Yes. Okay. After you viewed it, did you notice if it's been modified or changed in any way? It has not. Okay. Your Honor, I would move into evidence State's Exhibit Number 5. No objection, Your Honor. They said that they Let me pause it there. Is that your lapel camera video, Mr. Benavides? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to forward it. How long does it take you to drive? How long are we going to watch you driving? Uh, it's about 20 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit here to about 17 minutes, or excuse me, 15 minutes. Hey, I got one shot in the chest. One shot in the chest and one, one shot in the chest and one another shot in the stomach. So you have two victims Two vic Are you still driving? I am still driving, yes. Okay. Now I've fast forwarded to fifteen minutes and fifty nine seconds. Have you arrived on scene yet? Yes, I could see the the makeshift church right in front of me. We're going to secure the film and uh, all the crew members. Why did you say you're going to secure the film and all the crew members? Um, pretty much common sense. From I'm not on scene yet, but I'm I'm trying to picture everything that was going on, and uh, maybe if the the film caught it. I don't know. Can you describe for the members of the jury, when you're pulling up to this church, what does it look like? How many people are you actually seeing? So this scene was probably the biggest scene I've been to. Um, there was people everywhere. I had medics running in and out um, from what I saw from the back of the church. There was, there was medics uh, going to their vehicles, grabbing, grabbing items. And there was just people everywhere, as in people. I mean, um, I couldn't distinguish who it was. It was uh, actors. It was um, film personnel, um, bystander. I, I didn't know, but there was a lot of people there. Do you know if some of those, if those people were people who worked on the set? Yes, I. I you could distinguish them. They had a lot of uh, sunblock on, a lot of hats, um, big hats for the sun. So that's. Pretty much how I noticed that. Okay. Cool. Thanks. I have like 200 people out here, so. Alrighty. I'll okay. see if. Uh... Yes, I already called for them. All right. What's happening at this? <clears throat> excuse me. At this point. So as soon as I walked into the makeshift church, uh, Deputy Lafleur started to uh, um, let me know what was happening and what was going on with the victims. How would you describe this scene as soon as you walked into the church? Um, the medics were doing a wonderful job. Uh, they they had separated each other and they were working on the victims. Okay. How many victims did you have? Um, I saw two on the ground. I need you to know who's in charge. Everybody stops what they're doing right now. This is a crime scene. Yeah. Why did you say this was a crime scene? Um, because we had two victims 
uh, Helena and Joel fighting for their life on the ground. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't natural. This is a movie set. And uh, it was now a crime scene. We had to figure out what happened. So what directives are you giving the other deputies? So I'm letting them know. <laughs> to, I, I let Corporal Aldalet, Corporal Aldalet to know um, to have whoever's in charge, have everybody stop what they're doing because there was no more filming. If they were, I did not know. And um, so we could try to control what we could. Everybody stops what they're doing, and I need the film secured by whoever's in charge of the. Electric back. Can I please these guys down get get them the hell with the helicopter? Yes, please. Did you ask for anything else when you were out there um, speaking with those people? Yes, I I, uh, I asked who was in charge to help me out, um, and then I asked Corporal Dereto to start taking pictures. Um, Did you ask for anything else? Mm, not that I recall. <laughs> Hey, I need pictures right away. Where's the props guy? Why did you ask for pictures? I have my lapel on, um, which captures a lot, but the pictures would cap capture um, detailed that, that's on the floor that you can't really tell from my lapel. And you just said that you want you asked for the props guy. Why did you ask for the props guy? Um, uh, I've been I, I work security for for uh, in the sheriff's office uh, at movie sets. The props guy is the guy that does the little stuff um, with sound effects or whatever. But um, I asked for the props guy because um, I needed to find out where the gun was. Why was it important to find out where the gun was? Um, because I didn't need the gun going off or getting used again on somebody else. Okay. And did you find the gun? Um, I had somebody, yes, I did find the gun. Okay. Where did you find the gun? Um, uh, Hannah Gutierrez had the gun walking, walking out of, of the movie set. And who did you understand Hannah Gutierrez to be? She was the armorer. Props go Yes, they're, they're, they're taking care of business. Yeah. What else do you need there, Chief? Where's my radio? It's just here. There, thank you, thank there, you. There's the gun. Uh, where is it? Ah! Okay. Okay. 